carry the women's coat, suit, dress and knitwear advertising in a series of full colour features in all the leading fashion magazines read by women of all ages right across the country. International models from many parts of the world, attracted by the worldwide reputation of Britain's fashion industry and photographed in typically British settings, are united in their acclaim for crimpling fashion from Britain's best-known manufacturers. Each of the colour features will show a range of garments from one house, while the photographic and copy treatment relates that house's own ambience and price structure to the selected publication. The total media schedule shown here illustrates the size and weight of the advertising campaign and shows the sort of exposure which the advertisements will receive in the spring of this year. Powerful and colourful trade press announcements in the major retail trade papers beginning in October last year and continuing in November and February of this year have already given the trade full details of the size and nature of the campaign. Crimpling merchandise is now such an important part of the fashion scene and is used in such depth by leading fashion houses that we've been able to select from these house ranges groups of garments which illustrate the way in which crimpline has evolved from its original jersey dress concept into the tremendously exciting range of fabric and garment types illustrated here. Each of these groups is taken from one manufacturer's collection and shows the spread of crimpline into coats, suits, casual wear and coordinates. Here, a completely new crimpling yarn for lightweight jersey is used by Frank Usher for a collection of sophisticated evening wear. Working in close cooperation with Frank Usher, these exclusive print designs were developed in our own studio. That is the British fashion story in crimpling. However, in the past few years, crimpling has played an increasingly important part on the fashion stage in Paris. Each season, we produce a feature showing the ways in which the top couturier have used crimpling in their collections. Our April feature in Vogue demonstrates how, once again, crimpline is absolutely right for the current fashion trends from Balmain, Benet, Ferro, Patou, Ricci, Hector, Paco Rabanne, La Roche and Givenchy. Women's knitwear in crimpline forms an important part of this campaign and is promoted by a booklet and by more multi-page advertisements in the same series. In addition to the press campaign, which runs from March to May, a one-minute colour film will be available to retailers on a shared cost basis. The film will be aimed at the young cinema audience and will emphasise the exciting new merchandise which is now being created for the younger end of the market and who may still have some misconceptions regarding styling and fabric. The film will be titled British Fashion is Wonderful in Crimpling. On the children's wear front, the theme becomes British Junior Fashion is Wonderful. This motif will appear throughout a ten-page feature containing pictures like this. To add further impact at the retail level, major promotions have been arranged with departmental stores using specially selected and identified garments which are photographed in colour and made up into booklets, each one individually tailored to the needs of the store concern. The booklets, carrying through the overall theme, will be distributed by the stores to about one million account customers. Over 200 stores are taking part in the scheme, which also includes the use of special window displays, fashion parades and joint advertisements in local papers. Display material has been designed to reflect the theme of the whole promotion and this will be mailed to over 5,000 retail outlets in addition to the 200 department stores. A further six major women's multiple groups controlling 1,100 branches will also mount promotions on specific merchandise in crimpling. The growing strength of crimpling is reflected in the peace goods market where another series of special retail promotions has been organised. The spearhead of this campaign is a 10-page feature in Simplicity Pattern Book which has also been distributed as a separate booklet via a half-page advertisement in the Sunday Express with a potential readership of over 10 million people. Men's Wearing Crimpline has a separate campaign of its own under the title Crimpline for Men. This advertising will appear on television in the spring in the five main areas, London, Midlands, Yorkshire, Lancashire and Southern, which accounts for 70% of the total population of Great Britain. The campaign begins on Tuesday, April the 8th and runs through to May the 25th with two short one-week breaks. The 30-second commercial transmitted mainly in peak time will be an interpretation of the ideas illustrated in this rough storyboard.
trade advertising in February and March has already announced this campaign to manufacturers and retailers. Knitwear for men, in which Crimpline features strongly, takes the form of an eight-page feature appearing in the colour magazine shown on this schedule. And supported by show cards like this at the point of sale.